John, that was quite the battle, and uh, to see your team step up without two of their very best defensemen, uh, what are your thoughts? Well, I, I, you know, I, I thought it was a really strong team game for us, and something we talked about in the morning is uh, injuries is part of the part of the league, and I think when you can play a really compact, strong team, uh, excuse me, team game, it gives you the best chance to win. I thought our guys did that. I thought the decor tonight played really well. You know, we played pretty well as five-man units, and I think when you can play with strong structure and um, everybody contributes, it gives you a chance to win. You've been talking about Matt Boldy adding that kind of defensive aspect and being much more of a two-way player. We saw that very evident on his goal that he scored, too. I mean, how exciting is it to see him get rolling but then just becoming a more rounded, complete player? Yeah, it's nice. I mean, Matt, he's, a, he's a, such a talented player, and, it's, you know, it's nice to see him get rewarded for the, the way that he's played. And you know, I think when a young player like him – you know, can can produce at the level he's produced at the last seven games. It certainly drives uh, drives his confidence. But it's not like he's getting the chances on a whim. Like he's playing a real solid 200 foot game, and when he's getting in offensive situations, he's certainly capitalizing. Gus, like broken record, Boldy scoring, Gustafson playing sharp. I mean, the, the same players are being able to have a consistent impact. I'm sure that's. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's that, that's how you can win regularly. Is you have to, you know, we talk a lot about being consistent and reliable. And, and that's in individual games. It's in your team game. And uh, we've been able to, m you know, manufacture that and build some of that identity and mindset into the group. John, you never want to give up a shorty, but the good news is you're still on a power play. Just how important was it to have that answer after, the, after that? Yeah, that was a big one. I mean, <clears throat> excuse me. We, we talked between the second and third about my, uh, mindset and focus. I thought in the second got in some penalty trouble. We didn't really get to the game that we wanted to get to. And, Really, the challenge in between the second and third was that, you know, nothing's going to shake our confidence. We got to make sure that we we refocus, and it's a one-one game going into the third period. These are the games you got to find a way to win, and we didn't find a way to win in Edmonton. And I thought tonight we did a better job of sticking with it and finding a way to win the game. It seemed like you were limiting a ton of chances off the rush for Calgary. What what do you kind of contribute that to just having good good sticks in the neutral zone, the defensive? Well, I think it's our reloads and tracks by our forwards. You know, they're they're on top of people and they they crush the rush. Our defensemen have been able to hold good gaps, uh, and then I think our sword outs at the defensive blue line were really strong.